After being sent back to his regeneration cocoon, due to being beaten almost to death by Thor, Warlock is reborn anew and left in the hands of the High Evolutionary? The High Evolutionary is responsible for introducing Warlock to the Soul Gem, to a sense of purpose and also his very name. Warlock finds infamy, purpose, friends, and also another name on a planet called Counter-Earth. Counter-Earth is considered to be a contaminated experiment by none other than its creator, the High Evolutionary. Okay, now after this, oh, good grief. Okay, so it, it's a lot, like a lot, a lot. Let's just summarize it and say that Adam Warlock goes on a whole character-defining journey on this alternate world that involves a being called the Man-Beast and also what may or may not be alternate Earth Hulk and Doctor Doom. Warlock's bodily tissues are much harder and more resistant to injury than those of a human. He is capable of withstanding tremendous impact forces, falls from great heights, exposure to temperature and pressure extremes, the vacuum of space, and powerful energy blasts without sustaining any injury. His body is also specially adapted to withstand the physiologically debilitating effects of moving and running at high rates of speed. Adam has survived punishment from Thor, a Thanos clone, Drax, and the Man Beast. Adam is a capable and powerful energy manipulator. He has abilities like matter manipulation, energy construction, time travel, telepathy, and quantum magic. Adam Warlock is powerful enough to be sitting at the table as equals with beings like Thanos and the Living Tribunal. Warlock has gained a great deal of first-hand experience at hand-to-hand -hand combat over the course of his life and eventually became quite formidable. This is largely due to his combat history with Gamora, who's trained him in multiple martial arts. Aside from being a master tactician, a master manipulator, and an expert on all things occult, Adam Warlock is a multilinguist, a hacker, and has been called a genius by none other than Thanos himself. Running faster than Drax can watch, Adam can also fly in an Earth-like atmosphere at speeds reaching 770 miles an hour. However, put him in the vacuum of space and he's even been known to reach speeds beyond light itself. Adam Warlock's feats of strength mainly lie in who he's willing to tussle with and survive, and sometimes even win. And we're talking heavy hitters here, like Thanos, Thor, and Wonder Man. And now you've been brought up to speed, but if you're looking to read up more on Adam Warlock, I recommend checking out Who Him in Fantastic Four from 1961, Armageddon in Infinity Gauntlet from 1991, and The Power of Warlock. And that is Adam Warlock. Once again, I'm Michelle. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.